Hello, my name is Marion Bailey. I am a self-taught visual artist and I'm currently working on this mural called Patterns of a Life. For this specific project, um, when it comes down to it, like acrylic paint is really like latex based, which is like plastic and water. Um, and so when you think about like microplastic and all of those things, it becomes a little like hairy. Um, and so I didn't want to like buy any new products for the project. I wanted to essentially reuse all of the paint that I already had in my collection. And so with each mural more or less that I do, I tend to reuse a lot of the products um, and I tend to be attracted to a lot of the same like colors over and over anyway, so it works out. Um, so I went through my collection of wall paint in my studio um, and I used that to essentially make what we see here. And so some of the colors I had to mix, some of them were already like pretty good so I didn't have to worry about that, but I didn't buy any new paint because I was like, if we're trying to be sustainable, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle, all of that good stuff. So I just wanted to use what I already had on hand. I think I just like everything big. Like, <laughs> I just, I like painting really big. And then when I do kind of like smaller paintings, I'm like, this is fun, but imagine this being like 10 times bigger. So like the first mural that I did was eight feet by eight feet and I just keep going up like progressively. And I think it's a lot of fun to kind of think outside of the confines of your own imagination. And like when I start, I usually am like drawing either on a piece of paper or like on my iPad, which is only like this big. And so to see it go from that to something like across, you know, almost 60 feet, like it's a lot of fun. How can I approach this in a way that feels very natural to me? Um, I thought about my own practices that I would consider sustainable. So a lot of the times I like to buy things that are secondhand like this. I just found at like a Goodwill and it happens to be really great for all of my mural projects. Um, and so at this point, the majority of my wardrobe is secondhand. Some of it's vintage, some of it isn't. Um, and I wanted to approach it in a way that kind of indicates to people that like there are little things that we can still do. I would say that my community inspires me a lot. Um, when I think about a lot of the kind of representational work that I do, I'm constantly like drawing on like the people that are just around me as well as just like people that I see, you know, as I'm making my way through life, just like walking down the street. Um, I'm really inspired by the different travels that I've been super lucky to be able to do. Um, but it's also just like the little things like, walking around coming across like cool kind of like intersections I like to take a lot of film photography and then like all of the colors in the world just I find very very inspiring because I, I like to live a very colorful life